Hi ladies, my name is Jennifer Escalera and I'm so glad that you downloaded your Heal Your Heartbreak checklist. I created this checklist really as an action plan for the next 30 days. I want you to know that I used every single one of these things on this checklist when I had my horrible traumatic breakup in 2008. I know what it's like to be in that horrible pain, the unknowing, the ugliness in your stomach, the weakness that you'll have, the confusion that you'll go through. So I want to take some time right now and go over some of the things on the checklist that I think will be helpful for you to understand. You're going to use this checklist as your action plan for the next 30 days. So this is a 30 day commitment to yourself and your healing process. The first thing is, is that I want you to print out the checklist. So print out your checklist and have it with you at all times. It's going to be like your go-to when you panic or you feel like you want to call him or you want to text him or you want to go to his house, you know, um, you're going to have this checklist as your backup. And so you're going to be actively using it every day. So I want you to pay attention to it every day. So keep it in your purse, in your pocket, in your car, maybe make multiple copies so that you have it in reach all the time. You can also download it on your phone and have a little uh, quick view of it at any time that you need it. Okay, so the first thing that is on the list is uh, get a breakup buddy. So a breakup buddy is a friend or family member that you are going to ask for the next 30 days to be available at any time that you need them. And they are not there to lecture you. They're not there to change anything or badmouth him or question why it, it all happened. They're there to just listen. You know, if you want them to give you suggestions, you know, that's an agreement between you and your breakup buddy. But find someone who is able to commit to you for the next 30 days and will be available by phone or you guys go out for coffee or just, you know, they're there whenever you need them, okay? So that's really, really crucial. I know my breakup buddy was there. I had a few, so I needed that. Um, talk to a professional or a, a bestie or someone um, that you trust when it's hard. So if you need to go to a therapist, a healer, a, a coach, um, or a friend, you know, someone who is going to be able to give you a, an objective professional opinion and someone who can really go deep into your healing process, like um, a Reiki healer or a shaman or someone who is going to holistically heal everything that is going on within your body and your emotional well-being, you know, and then if you want to talk to a therapist or a coach, you know, they can give you some guidance and some other ways to get through these tough times. And then your friends, you know, your besties, your your support system, they're going to be there, but they're also going to have, you know, your back and they may be a little bit biased. So that's why, you know, it's important to have you know, professionals and your support system. You know, you need to have both of those. The other thing is read self-help books to help you to get through the tough times in those very crucial uh, days. My mind was just constantly racing with, how did this happen? Why did this happen again? How did I get myself in this situation? And so reading really helped calm my nerves. It helped uh, distract my thoughts. And so um, some books that really helped me is called, it's called A Breakup Because It's Broken. This is super amazing. That's where I got the breakup buddy idea. Another amazing book is I Know I'm In There Somewhere. This is really a, an amazing book that will help you to learn how to listen to your intuition. It really gives you um, ideas and, and strategies on how to um, awaken your inner wisdom. The other book 
that I recommend is how to be an adult in relationships, the five keys to mindful loving. So I love this one because it is for those of you who are into more holistic or uh, meditation, mindfulness. This is a, a great uh, alternative to uh, looking at love and relationships. And this old classic is Getting the Love You Want, a guide for couples. So the reason why I'm recommending this one is because he goes into um, Harville Hendricks. He goes into detail about um, our blueprints and about how um, we end up attracting people who are like our caretakers or our parents. And so it's learning how to break away from um, some of those patterns. So very, very useful books. Uh, you can probably get them on Amazon or something, you know, or go to the library and check them out. All right, the next thing is I really want you to focus on doing some type of self-care. So the self-care is not just about going and getting a massage or going to the beach. The, the type of self-care, um, in addition to those things, is really getting into the core of who you are, you know, finding the reason why you're here, you know, your purpose, and nurturing your soul, nurturing that spiritual part of you that um, really needs to go deep. So maybe incorporating some type of meditation or going to um, some classes or things that will help nurture that self-care part of you, that self-love. Do something creative. You know, use your imagination. Imagination isn't just for kids, it's for adults too. And so right now is a, a really uh, nurturing time for you to tap into your creative sense. So maybe take an art class or learn a, an instrument or learn a new instrument, play music, um, listen to music, um, do anything that you enjoy doing that's creative. Maybe it's going out and getting a new outfit you know, and creatively making something out of that outfit that is going to describe this new chapter in your life. You know, maybe that means getting rid of some old clothes and going out and designing your new fashion. You know, just something that is going to get your creative juices flowing during this time. And also just be really clear about your boundaries with your family and friends. Again, you know, they love you and they want what's best for you. And so with that, people come with opinions. People are may start uh, bashing him or they may be friends with him still. And they think that by telling you the latest gossip on what he's doing, even when it's bad stuff, they, they might think that that's helpful. But ultimately what that does, it just confuses you and it just holds you from being able to move forward so create some type of boundary with them and then just let them know up front that hey you know I know you love me and I know you're you're wanting to help but talking about him doesn't really help me so being really clear about that and if you're afraid to do something like that maybe that's where you need to write out your thoughts first before you go to your people and then um, once you're clear on what your vision is what your boundary is then um, then you can let them know well I hope that helps and these are just a few highlights from this checklist I mean there are multiple things ah I hope you could see that there are multiple things that you can use on this checklist to help you through these next 30 days and I understand that a heartbreak doesn't get resolved in 30 days and so this is just really a starting point it's really to just get you active in your healing it's holding you accountable for being motivated for having structure in your healing process remember your personal power does not end because of this relationship you still have it. Your inner wisdom, your inner guidance is still fully alive. That inner light is still there. And so you need to find that right now. And using this checklist is going to reconnect you with that.
I would love to hear from you. Please comment below this video and give me an idea of, of how this checklist has helped you. If you can be specific on which one of these um, items here that made a difference in your life or maybe a, an aha moment came up for you because you started implementing something on this checklist. I'd love to hear what your stories are. You know, if you share what's happening in your life, the next woman who reads this, it's going to feel like they're not alone. So we're all really here to support each other. I know you got this. Just take it one day at a time. Be gentle to yourself and use the checklist as many times as you need it. I look forward to hearing from you and we'll talk soon. Bye.